Well, I'll give you a little update on the green machine. As you see, and it uh, runs and mows. Got a few quirks. Um, this tire goes flat. Left rear, uh, I'm gonna have to tube it. It's got a lot of cracks on the sidewall and it just it pisses down through there. Um, there's some slippage with the PTO belt and I'm thinking that's why. There's probably half that belt is not there. <laughs> it's just old and, and worn. But it will spin the blades and it will mow the grass. Just, it's, it'll start to slip in the, uh, in the heavier stuff. It does need a solenoid and it needs a battery. The battery it's on there will start with the booster and it'll start up again about immediately after it's shut off, but after it's been sitting for a little while, it's right back to dead again. Um, didn't really have to do much to it at all. I got pretty lucky with this one. I did put a fuel filter on it. This is the one that was on there, and I don't know how well it's going to show up. There's, uh, it's all full of crap down there. You see the discoloration. And I had to work on a starter some because, uh, plastic plate that holds the brushes or the lead wire for the brushes is broke that wire was shortened out so uh, I just took well I wanted to just switch out the lower plate but the starter that was on here has the bigger shaft and uh, the only starter I have that had that size shaft is a brand new one I really didn't want to put a brand new starter on here I keep that in my parts pile so I just um, Ended up taking the top plate off and using the armature and whatnot from a single cylinder Briggs starter. And it works. Spins the engine over just fine. So uh, there's that. That's pretty much where I stand with this. Overall, it's pretty good. The only other issue, this was the adjustment for the deck was seized up. I had to break that free and I sprayed it with a bunch of blaster and just worked with it. The, uh, the paint's peeling off, you know, that's very common, and must have been railed into something at one point, because the front of the hood there at the one hinge is cracked, so I'll have to maybe make a brace or something for it, it works, but it's just, I mean, it, it's going to fall apart, I would imagine, and I am going to look into a discharge uh, deflector, some, some kind of a shoot for the side of the deck, either the one it should have, or come up with something, because uh, it just blows grass all over the place, and it's unpleasant. But really, overall, for a free mower, can't beat it. Runs pretty good, mows real well, and uh, does what it needs to do, so that's good. And it's real good because up until now, I didn't actually have a dedicated lawn mower, something I could just get on and go mow the lawn with. I either had to put a deck on or fight with an old tray, you know, I just this will be one I can just leave parked and jump on it once a week or whatever and go mow the lawn. So... Looks like I'll be heading to tractor supply here middle of the week sometime and picking up a tube and battery and a solenoid. And have a good good running little machine. The next one up will be the Big Murray. I've got that in the garage now. And uh, I'm going to start working on that here pretty shortly. It's a lot rougher than this one was. And out of the two Murrays, it's the better of the two. The little one's even worse, but we'll see. We'll see what I can do with them. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching.